Well, everyone, it's Wednesday, September the 25th, 2024. I'm Doug. It's time to play Connections. Let's see what we got. All right, today we have Hat Trick, Home Run, Broil, Paint, Soapbox, Triple Crown, Drop Cloth, Wings, Roller, Kentucky, Sprouts, Trifecta, Demolition, Tape, Three peat and cheesesteak. Well, we have a phrase. Maybe we're going to get the purple right off the bat. This one I, I immediately comes to mind. Um, I'm not a super sports girl, but enough that this was so clear to me. We have roller. We have demolition. We have Kentucky and we have home run. What are these things and why are they a phrase? Well, folks, these are derbies. So we got your demolition derby, a roller derby. Uh, Kentucky Derby and a home run derby. Now, this is definitely U.S. centric. Uh, I don't think roller derby, which was big in the 70s and the 80s, uh, if you don't know what roller derby is, so imagine you're roller skating at a roller skating rink, like an oval, um, but it's also a sport that's like full contact combat. Um, that sounds horrible, but Americans loved it in the 70s and 80s. Some still do today. They actually made a Nintendo game about it. Uh, Kentucky Derby horse race, very popular in the United States. Home run derby, again, Major League Baseball, American Baseball. They do that in the middle of the season. And a demolition derby, again, I think that's those are U.S.-centric things where, of course, what's more American than crashing cars into each other at high speed? Hey, not, 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 not a criticism, no social commentary. I, I, for one, enjoy watching a demolition derby from time to time. But nonetheless, derbies. One away? <laughs> oh, my God. Wow, one away? Okay. Uh, all right. Okay, so which one, what other derbies are there? Well, I am shocked. Do we, this was a, an amazing, um, I guess this was a, uh, a red herring. I was ridiculously confident, did a whole spiel about it. Um, all right. <laughs> all right, well, now I'm not sure what to, not to think here. Paint, drop cloth, roller, tape, um, things involved in painting? Needs for painting a room. Green, okay. Wow, so the derbies, they fit so perfectly. That was all a red herring. I'm, I'm kind of shocked, but all right. Very interesting. So hat trick, three-peat. Trifecta and Triple Crown would be sports terms that refer to things that happen in threes. So the Triple Crown would be, there's three horse races. There's the Kentucky Derby. There's the Preakness. And there's one other one. I don't remember what the other one is. But there's three races that happen back to back to back in horse racing. Hat trick is when you score three goals in hockey. The trifecta is when, like, if you're wagering on a race and you're picking the people that come in first, second, and third. And a three peat is when a sports team wins a championship three times in a row or wins three in a row. Uh, so these are sports terms that deal with threes. Trio of sports achievements. Holy Toledo, it's the yellow. I honestly figured that was going to be the purple. This Connections is really, this is the tricky one here. Uh, yellow and green. All right. Um, oh, wait a minute. We do have derbies. Home run derby, demolition derby, Kentucky derby. We talked about that. I forgot soapbox derby. So soapbox derby again. I feel like these a lot of these are very U.S. centric. So for the benefit of those who not heard of soapbox derby, so uh, when I was a kid, we had Boy Scouts. Uh, just you learned 
scouting, like Boy Scouts. Um, and they had uh, an event for the, the, the boys, the Boy Scouts, where you'd build um, cars, uh, um, little race cars, and you'd race them. And it's called the Soapbox Derby. Um, so I think these are, in fact, derbies. There it is. It's purple. So it was not a red herring. Whew. All right. Uh, sprouts, broil, wings, and cheesesteak. Um, sprouts, boil, wings, cheesesteak. So um, chicken wings, a Philly cheesesteak. Uh, I don't know about broil, but in sprouts, but like things you'd you'd get in a fast food restaurant. Um, uh, Philly cheesesteak, London broil, uh, hot wings, sprouts. I don't know about sprouts. I feel like it's definitely food related. It's culinary to be sure. I feel like these are referencing fast food choices. Again, chicken wings, Philly cheesesteak, the sandwich. I don't know how broil and sprouts play into that, though. Um, broil for me seems like a way to prepare food, not the food itself. Uh, sprouts would be like um, vegetable sprouts, so... Ah, man, I don't know what to tell you on this one. I'm completely lost in the woods. Like, just knowing that it has to do with food isn't good enough in terms of this. Uh, I think it has to do with fast food. Uh, probably going to get zero to a half point max. All I've got is has to do with fast food. Food named after cities. Okay, I get zero points on that one. I'm humble enough to say, give me the three today. Oh, London Broil, Philly Cheesesteak. I actually said the two cities. Um, I don't know about the wings, and I don't know about the sprouts. I don't know what cities are connected to sprouts and wings. Uh, I feel like the Detroit Red Wings are a hockey team, but I, that's a hockey team, not a, a food. So uh, I'm sure in the comments below you can help hook me up with the cities, the Sprout City. Was there like a was there like a, a Hartford Sprouts <laughs> or a, you know Pasadena Wings? Like what are what are the Sprouts and the Wings? I'm very curious to know. But that's why I love our community. It's always fun to read your experiences, your your mini corrections of me, and so on and so forth. It's such a great time. Please jump in the comments if you've done so. It's a lot of fun. Uh, folks, as always, again, please, please, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Helps me out. It doesn't cost you a thing. I uh, hope you had a good time. And, of course, tomorrow, come on back and we'll play some more Connections.